YouTubers, this is Kurt. Welcome back to the Kurt's Place channel here on YouTube. Well, guys, now in this video, I'm going to talk about how's my life now in North Carolina. I've had a lot of people ask, you know, about what's going on in North Carolina. How are things doing? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain to you a whole bunch of things that are going on here in North Carolina. And as I go through, the, as I go through, I'm actually going to go ahead and show you pictures and things of different things that I have here and tell you a little bit about them as I go through the video. Now, I also want to mention, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you like what you see, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below. Now, believe it or not, one of, the, one, of the most, one of the most common questions I get is, am I still going to have a YouTube channel? And the answer is a resounding yes. I still will be having a YouTube channel. Uh, I, I get very good internet here in Orlando. We have a company called Spectrum that provides internet. It provides excellent internet service. I'm able to talk to all my family and friends and everything over the internet. You know, using my webcam and things has been extremely helpful in making my move here to North Carolina a lot, a lot, a lot easier. Now, the one thing that's going to change is the the frequency of the videos is going to be changing. I'm going to try to do one or two videos a week on my days off. Now, one of the big changes is I'm now working in a place called Duck Through Food Stores here in North Carolina, which which is an excellent. Uh, it's been an excellent place to work. Uh, it, it's like a 7-Eleven, but it's even more than a 7-Eleven because they have food and things there. It's retail that I really like, and it's attached to a shell station. And uh, that's one of the things that I love about working. The fact that I was still able to work in a retail-type environment, which has worked out very well. And I'm, I'm very happy with the job. It's worked out really well. Now, the one thing that's changed is my hours have changed. I'm now working mostly at nights, and my day off varies from week to week. So... The frequency of my videos is going to be it's going to be based on on my job now so on my days off i'm going to try to have a video coming out on my day off now some days i may have one day off a week some days i may be off two days a week and i am working full time so it does the job does take up a lot of my time but remember the job's what allows me to have what i have here so that's one of the things to keep in mind now as we go through the video like i was saying a lot of different pictures to show you now one of the things I wanted to mention to you is I've had people ask me, you know, why did I move to North Carolina? Why was the why did I make the big change to jump to North Carolina? Well, there's actually uh, there's were actually two reasons that I wanted to move to North Carolina. Number one, I wanted to have my own place, and Maryland has places and houses and things that they offer, but I wanted to have a place where I didn't have a mortgage. That was one of the big things. Well. I want what worked for me was having a mobile home and I wanted to have a two bedroom, two bathroom mobile home. And the problem I had is in Maryland, I had a problem finding a mobile home that I was happy with, you know, in an area that I was happy with. And the other thing too, I wanted to have is I wanted to have a mobile home on its own plot of land. And that was kind of difficult to find in Maryland. But when I, when I researched it, I found out that North Carolina had over 300,000 mobile homes and North Carolina was a place for me. Now, keep in mind, Finding a mobile home with this with the specifications I wanted did take a little bit of while. Now, as you, we're going through the videos here, I'll tell you a little bit about the mobile home. Now, one of the things about the mobile home was I wanted to have a mobile home on its own plot of land. That was important. I didn't want to have a mobile home that had lot rent. I wanted to own the land the mobile home sat on. Well, that little process took almost to get an actual home took me almost six months to find a home that would work for me. That was that was you know that that would fit my budget that I had uh, that had its own plot of land. And also had uh, some of the other things that I needed. Now, uh, one of the things that's really nice, as you're going to see in the photos here, my home has owned sewer, gas, electric, and it's all city. There's no septic system in my area here. It's all city. So I have city electric, I have city sewer, and I have city water, as you're going to see in the videos here. And another thing nice, too, about this was I wanted to have a place I could have my workshop at. And fortunately, this home actually had a shed that came with it. That was a huge bonus for me. It had a shed that came with it, and I was able to get that shed and that came with it. That's actually, as you're going to see in some of the pictures coming up here, that's actually where my workshop is. Now, you're going to see in these workshop photos, I have all the work, all the work equipment I had back in Maryland. I have, my ta I have my table saw. I have my drill press in there. I have my chop saw. I have all my wood and everything storage in there. You know, I have my dressers and everything. Plus, I have all my hand tools and everything available. So I can I have a bench vice and everything there, so I can continue working in the workshop, building things, which is one of the things that I love back in Maryland. And that was one of the things that made moving here easier, the fact that I didn't have to lose my workshop. 
And that was another reason why I wanted to have a mobile home. And keep in mind, I, I researched mobile. I found a mobile home that I liked almost eight, ten years ago. I found a mobile home that I liked. I said, you know what? If I ever have my own place, I want to have a mobile home. And this place worked out great. That was one of the reasons why. It, the time came for me to have my own place, and this was a place that worked out for me. Now, as I go through some pictures, you know, inside the mobile home, people, you know, you're going to probably ask me, you know, What's living in a mobile home like? Uh, living in a mobile home for me has been fantastic. I have all the amenities that I had back at home. As you're going to see in the videos now, we're going to start out with start out with the bathroom. Uh, this mobile home has two bathrooms and full baths. Uh, I have a hot water heater and everything. I, I get all the comforts of home I had when I lived in Maryland. Uh, the, you know, I have the uh, I have a, I have a shower. You're going to see in the photo here. Now, as we go to as we go to my bedroom. You gotta notice that my bedroom and everything is just like I had in Maryland. You know, I have, um, you know, I have all my display cases in there. I have a TV in there. My bed and everything's in there. Now, one thing that has changed is the storage, the storage capacity. Storage capacity in mobile homes is a little bit different than it was in Maryland. So I have to actually store some things under the bed. I have containers that actually go underneath the bed. Uh, closets and things I do have. I had to do some organizing, and then closets and things to get everything to fit, but. Once I got everything worked out, it really was not that bad. It just took a matter. I had a lot of friends and people that helped me to know how where to place everything. Now, another thing nice, too, that I have here is I have a washer and dryer. Now, I got to thank my brother, Paul. Uh, Paul Duty, you know, uh, my brother, Paul, was extremely helpful in getting me uh, set up with a washer dryer. So now I actually have those set up in my home. I didn't have those when I bought the home. I actually got those after I had the home. Now, you're going to notice, too, you know, in this photo here, you're going to see uh, people ask, you know, uh, too, you know, has my family been very supportive? 100%. Uh, Paul, do you know, you know, my brother Paul, my brother Alan, his family, uh, you know, you know, everybody you're going to see in this photo right here, you're going to see my entire family. We actually ate, we actually went to Virginia and ate at a place called Sweetwater. Now, in that photograph, you're going to see my, you're going to see, you know, you're going to see my entire family in there. You're going to see my brother Paul there. You know, uh, and he has his fiance Elsie there. You're going to see my brother Alan with his wife Telly. Uh, they've been extremely supportive of everything that I've done here, and they're one of the reasons I was able to get this. The, the financing everything that I needed to get the home. Uh, one of the things I had to do to get this home is I had to sell my third of my share in my home in Maryland. And my brother Alan and Paul were very helpful in letting me do that, and that's what got me the funds to buy the mobile home I have here in North Carolina with some money left over, which is great. Uh, you know, basically, I, I didn't have to, I, I don't have a mortgage here, so I don't have any mortgage. All I have to do is, I have the basic bills, you know, electric, heating, gas, things like that. But the good the good thing about it is, living in a mobile home doesn't cost as much as it did when I lived back at home. It's a smaller place. There's less to take care of, you know. Now, as you're going to, as we walk around the home, you're going to also notice in the back of my home, I have uh, things I had in Maryland. There's a, there's a chair and everything I had there, and there's a table. That actually was from Maryland. In my backyard, that actually came here to Maryland. Now, what I use that table for, the significance of that table and chair is that's where all my projects are painted. I'm still building projects. Uh, that table that you're looking at has over 100 layers of paint on it that I've done that I've used for over 20 years of building projects, and it came here with me to Islander, which is great. I was able to bring that with me too. Now, as we go around, as I was saying with the pictures and things, now you're going to notice in the kitchen. I have a full-size kitchen. I'm able to do all the things I had in Maryland. You know, now I'm also learning how to cook things too, which is good. I'm getting to be a little bit more of a cook here now that I'm on my own. I'm able to do some things such as cooking and things, which is great. You know, I have a have a full-size oven and everything there. You know, I have a microwave and everything I have there. You know, full-size fridge has all my food and everything in it. And something really cool too that I have is you're going to notice in the next photo. You got to decide bar top arcade machines. One of the really important things was when I moved to uh, when I moved to North Carolina. I did not want to lose my arcade machines and things. Arcade machines have always been a big part of my life, and they were going to continue to be a big part of my life here in Orlando. As you're going to see in this photo here, I have my bar top arcade machines. And as we go to the next photos here, you're going to notice too that I have, uh, you know, my living room and everything too. I have I have a full suite of furniture and everything in the living room. Living room, you know, I have here. I wanted to thank Paul once again, by the way, for helping me get the furniture and everything that I have here in my Orlando home. You know, I have a custom mounted TV and everything that plays Roku TV. So I get all the all the TV and everything that I need here. And now one of the really cool things about about living here is I don't have I don't have cable here. All my TV and everything comes in through the internet. I have very good internet TV, you know, through streaming and things too. And it doesn't cost me anything. So I don't have a cable bill. So that saves me some money there too. Now 
One of the really cool things to you guys notice in this next photo you guys notice is I have a picture of where my workstation and everything is. Now this actually is where I make my videos and things, and you guys notice uh, behind me here. I actually have my 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 uh, my that, that behind me. That behind me. That's the Black Stallion Pinball Machine. That also came with me as well. I have all the things I had in Maryland. Now the only thing is, it took me a while to move everything. It took me ten trips to move everything I have here that you see in the home here in my van took over 10 trips. The movers helped me move some of the big things that I had, you know, such as my bed, my dressers, things like that. But all the arcade machines and everything, they were all moved by me. Uh, these arcade machines that I have back here, they have a lot of custom glass and things on them. I didn't want anything damaged, and, I, and that required what I call my white glove treatment, which means I move those myself. It took 10 trips, but I managed it. All the machines I have actually come apart in pieces, as you're going to see here, they all come apart in pieces now as we and you're going to notice too my display case and everything in the living room i have and also in the next photo you guys i have william and mary they're actually my caretakers and they what i still have them too everything i had in maryland i basically brought with me which is great which worked out really really well now the only difference is and when i moved to maryland i actually had my workshop in a solarium now that's in my shed i have my game where i you know i, I had my game room downstairs in, in a rec room in the basement that's now in my bedroom here in all land, which has worked out really well. Now, in the next photo, you're going to see pictures of the game room. Now, the game room that I have is basically has all the things I had back in Maryland. You know, I have my, I have my, uh, the cabinet that you're currently seeing that's being used there. That's actually Lester's tribute cabinet that I actually built as a tribute to my friend Les Slick, who passed away in January. One of the best friends I ever had. And I just finished a cabinet actually dedicated to Les Slick. And you're gonna, I'm going to have a video coming up very soon showing you exactly what that cabinet actually looks like. Now, inside that game room, you're going to notice there's I have a jukebox in there. I have my I have another upright arcade machine. There's also two bar top arcade machines in the back. And that is where I have my skeletal pinball machine. It came with me. Everything came with me. And that's the beauty of having it. I can go in the game room anytime I want. And that's another thing that's nice about having my own home. I don't have any neighbors living next to me, so I can play the games whenever I want. I don't have to worry about bothering anybody. And that's one of the beauties of having a mobile home. That's one of the things that I love most about having my mobile home is the fact that I'm in, I have my own home. I have a great place to park. And the parking's not a problem because I have a big parking lot I can park in. And it, it's worked out really, really well. Now, uh, one thing one thing I wanted to mention, by the way, to you, know, that I mentioned to you, know, somebody asked me, you know, do I miss my family and friends? Yes, I do. But keep in mind, the setup that I have here and everything that I have here, I have a full camera setup and everything here, too. I can also talk on my phone. And it allows me to have full access to being able to talk to my friends. Now, one of the beauties of living in all that, you know, living in North Carolina is it's not impossible for me to come home. Uh, next year, I'll be having some vacation. I have, I have every intention of coming back home and visiting my family. And that's the beauty. I, it takes me about five and a half hours to get from here back home to Maryland. Now, it, keep in mind... If I don't stop along the way, I can probably do it. In, probably do it in maybe four and a half. But I usually like to stop even along, even along the way. So rest assured, I will be paying my uh, friends and family visits again uh, next year when I come, when I come back to Maryland. So I'm still going to be able to visit. But you can see so in this video now, I was able to tell you a little bit about what you know what it's like living in North Carolina and all the things that that that, that I've had. Now one of the things I do one of the things I do miss about North, about Maryland. I do miss some of the conveniences I had in Maryland. I'll be honest, I do. I miss having a movie theater. Uh, we don't have a movie theater uh, that I know of anywhere anywhere near like I had in Maryland. Now, we may have one in a Husky, but I had the Egyptian 24 cinemas in Maryland. I got to tell you guys, I was spoiled rotten. Those cinemas were amazing. Yeah, I miss the cinemas, but remember, I'm going to come back to visit, and I'll be able to go by there and hopefully visit those when I come back to visit. So there's a few things that I miss. Do I miss my friends? Sure, I miss I miss having, you know, Cliff Kerr and all my friends. But remember, I can always talk to people on the Internet, and I can talk to – I talk to my brother on Facebook all the time. You know, we use, we use FaceTime and things, so we're talking all the time. So even though I'm by myself here, I, I you know, I do miss my family. I am – gradually, I am making friends here. I have, I'm happy to say – I live in a wonderful neighborhood here. I know all my neighbors and things, and we're all friends here, and I also have friends that I'm getting to know at work. So I'm gradually getting to know friends and things at work here, you know, too. So things are working out really well. I'm very happy now here as a whole, you know. I just wanted to say once again, by the way, uh, I wanted to thank you again, by the way, for watching the video here and just checking out, you know, how's my life doing in North Carolina. And keep in mind, I'm going to have other videos coming out, like I said, on my days off. So they may be coming out on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, could be any day of the week depending what day I have off of rest assured videos are still going to keep coming out 
to keep you all entertained because remember you're the reasons why I have the channel that I have today I still talk to people all over the world just like I did when I was in Maryland I just talked to somebody from Australia yesterday I, it was great that's the beauty of having the internet I'm able to do all these things so it's worked out really really well now uh, something to keep in mind too uh, like I was saying you know the, living in North Carolina another thing too that's nice here is it's a much slower pace than it was living in Maryland things are quite a bit less expensive than they, than they were in Maryland but the one thing to keep in mind is as far as if you're if you're planning on moving to North Carolina and you want to get a mobile home you want to act very quickly uh, I actually lost a mobile home because I waited too long. If you if you want to move to North Carolina and you find a mobile home that you like, I'm actually going to be having a video coming out uh, hopefully in the next two weeks or so that's actually going to tell you, you know, how I went about getting a home here. You know, how did I determine where I wanted to live? How did I get in contact with the realtor? How did I do the financing? It's going to tell you a little bit about how I actually went through the whole process of going from Maryland, moving here to North Carolina. So I want to thank you once again everybody, for tuning into the Kurtz Place channel here and checking out my house, my life now in North Carolina video. And as always, I want to thank you again for watching and I hope you all have a great day. And as always, I'll keep, we'll, we'll keep continue to keep in touch through my videos and various other things. And I want to thank you again for watching. As always, I hope you all have a great day and we will catch you in the next video. And as always, thanks again for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Take care now. Bye-bye now. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye now. Take care.